So you've already seen before within a cell, you tend to have this structure called the nucleus. And within the nucleus, you have DNA. And DNA is basically the genetic material that's in the middle of the cell. Now, the thing is with humans, particularly if you were to look at the DNA of a human, if you were to stretch it all out, it would be several meters in length. And obviously we know that our cells are very, very small. So in order to fit all of that DNA inside of our cells, they take up special structures uh, called chromosomes. Essentially, chromosomes are made up of these DNA molecules. So each of these you can think of as a DNA molecule. And the whole thing is wound up into this structure called a chromosome. And what we can also say is if you break it down further, each section of this, so you can break this down into several sections, and one section would be called a gene. And the way we break down a gene essentially is if we take a group of these DNA molecules, they contain the instructions to build a protein. So what that means essentially is your DNA tells you how to create proteins and each different type of protein that you make those instructions are called genes and it's all tightly wound up into this structure called a chromosome and actually what we should know is that we tend to have our chromosomes in pairs so you might have a chromosome like this and you would have to have a pair here like this so in humans particularly we say we have 23 pairs of chromosomes and the reason why we refer to these chromosomes in pairs is essentially where they actually come from so actually the total we have is 46 chromosomes but we have 23 from our father and 23 from our mother so the idea is uh, when the sperm cell fertilizes the egg cell you have 23 chromosomes from the sperm and 23 from the egg and so essentially what we're saying is that each of those basically combine together to form a pair of chromosomes okay so you have 23 Three pairs and 46 in total so that's true for body cells and obviously the difference here is you do have sperm cells and egg cells uh, within your body they're not referred to as body cells though these are called gametes so the important thing to remember is gametes have well for humans anyway gametes have 23 chromosomes uh, whereas in a body cell a normal body cell any other body cell that's not a gamete will have 46 chromosomes or 23 pairs okay a few different concepts to cover there so let's have a quick quiz just to recap Okay, so here's some questions for you to have a go at. Feel free to pause the video and have a go and then come back to go through the answers. So question one, where is the genetic material located in an animal cell? Well, we should all know that that is located in the nucleus. And we can be a bit more specific with how is that genetic material actually stored? So that's question two. So DNA is actually stored in structures called chromosomes. So that's what we mentioned. So it's tightly wound structures called chromosomes. And the chromosomes themselves can be split up into different instructions for proteins and those are called genes okay how many pairs of chromosomes are in a body cell where well, you have 23 pairs or 46 individual chromosomes and question for how many chromosomes in a gamete when well, a gamete it doesn't come as pairs but you do still have 23 individual chromosomes okay so, but not 23 pairs so that's the difference so hopefully everyone got those correct and i'll see you guys in the next one